What is up YouTube, Fluttersh RLC and I'm back with a Madden 16 online game and boy did we have a good one in Minnesota. Holy crap. Oh, I still like I can't imagine how painful that is for the Vikings and for the fans and you know for the players and especially Blair Walsh. I mean that's a 27 yard field goal. I mean that's a chip shot and it's just it's just wide left. Um, yeah, so the Seattle Seahawks, uh, they did defeat the Minnesota Vikings, I think, 10 to 9. And uh, the Vikings, they were in field goal range. Like, they were at, like, the, you know, it was a 27 yard field goal. That's, a ch that's easy. And, um, you know, I guess uh, the placeholder, uh, you know, placed the ball so the. So the laces are in, or the laces are facing towards the kicker, and uh, just shanked it wide left, and the Seahawks go on to face the Carolina Panthers next week. That's going to be a good game, but uh, man, just how heartbroken are the Vikings right now? I mean, you had the game literally 27 yards away, and then and then that, you know, and I, um, you know, I can't quite, um, you know, I can't quite say I relate to that because, you know. I mean, I just, I feel so bad for the Vikings and for their fans, man. I mean, you know, especially, like, the people that were there at that game because it was, like, zero degrees the whole game. So not only did you freeze your balls off, you get, you got to go home knowing that that's the way that you lost, man, on a missed field goal from 27 yards out. And uh, Blair Walsh, I mean, you know, I don't know if it's really, like, you know, whether um, the placeholder placed it wrong or whatever. I still think that, you know what, you're a professional kicker in the NFL for a reason. You're supposed to make that kick. And uh, I thought that Blair Walsh did do the right thing. He t took ownership of it, said it was, you know, it was, it was my fault, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, um, you know, and plus you, you kind of got to look at some of the other things about that game. You know, the Vikings missed a lot of opportunities. So, you know, again, I've said this before, you can't really say that they – that that one play cost them the game. Ultimately, in the end, yes, it did cost them the, the, the game, but, you know, they could have avoided that situation entirely had they taken advantage of a few opportunities. You know, and uh, just the Seahawks, I mean, the Seahawks just find ways, man. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if they make it back to the Super Bowl. To be honest, no offense, Seahawks fans, I don't really want the Seahawks to make it to the Super Bowl just because I want someone, I want a new team, I want a fresh team uh, in the Super Bowl, you know, I want someone new representing the NFC. But, you know, still, you know, that's one heck of a team. You know, they've gone through a lot this last year, you know, especially last year with, um, you know, deciding to pass it at the goal line. Just the Seahawks, they, you know, they've had a lot to overcome. And, uh, you know, that was definitely the first step that they needed to take, you know, because, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that every Seahawks fan around the world was like, yep, it, it's over. There is no hope. There's no way he's going to miss this field goal. And me, I, I just, I had this feeling. I just had this feeling in my stomach that, like, you know what, he's going to shank this field goal. Like, I, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he does. And, uh, long and behold, Blair Walsh does. And that's kind of surprising because Blair Walsh is a very, very accurate kicker, too. So that kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, but still a great game, absolutely phenomenal game to watch. Um, just love games like that. And then you got the Packers and the Redskins. The Packers is beaten down on the Redskins. And uh, for the first time, all four road teams won. I mean, I mean that's kind of crazy. You would think that there would be some home, f home field advantage. But, no, the Texans, they got blown out. The Redskins, they got blown out. And then um, the, um, the Vikings and the Bengals just came down to the last, you know, last uh last minute of the game and you know just heartbreaking way to, heartbreaking way to lose i feel a lot more sympathy for the vikings than i did for the Bengals. I'm not gonna lie but uh still i was rooting for the vikings because i have a lot of family in south dakota so you know of course they're vikings fans um you know plus you know i've just always kind of liked the vikings i'm not quite sure why i just always really have and uh so i i was rooting for the vikings but uh you know in all reality i was rooting for a good football game and i pretty much got that uh the, the last half of that game you know the first half was pretty boring i mean i mean if you're the vikings like it's hard to win not scoring a touchdown like i mean you know True, like, points are points, no matter what way you look at it. But, you know, if you can't score a touchdown, then, you know, how do you expect to win a game, you know? And luckily, the Seahawks couldn't do anything on offense until late in that game. But the Vikings, they they didn't score a single touchdown. So, you know, you can't really win games when you're not scoring any touchdowns at all. So, uh, you know, the Vikings, you know, yes, true, that, that field goal did cost them the game. But, again, you got to look at 
a lot of the other, you know, you got to look at the rest of the game and look at what uh, opportunities the Vikings missed and uh, the things that they didn't do right. And, uh, you know, they let Seattle stay in the game. And that play, when the snap is, it's over Russell Wilson's head, like it rolls back like 15 yards. Wilson picks it up and throws a dot downfield. Like, what? Like, that? How does that happen? Like, I mean, true, if you're the Vikings, you can't, like, the de like the defensive linemen can't get back there quick enough. But, like, where's the defensive backs in this situation? Did they just, like, assume that he wasn't going to try to pick up the ball and throw? I mean, of course, that's what conventional wisdom says that someone's going to do. But you can't, like, stop playing, and that's what it seemed like. They just, like, stopped playing uh, on that play. So, yeah, just a tough, tough way to lose for the Vikings. The Seahawks pull it out again. Like, just, I just cannot believe it. I mean, the Seahawks are just that team, man, you know? And it, it was funny because at the beginning of the year, uh, I think they lost, what, like, they lost, like, three or four games where it came down to the last, like, minute of the game, you know? And then they just lost it then. Uh, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, that's kind of the bad luck they had at the beginning of the year, and now it's all turning back around, so... But still, a great wild card weekend, a lot of great football to watch, and uh, next week... Just a lot of good stuff, a lot of good matchups. You got the Packers and the Cardinals, and then you got the Panthers and the Seahawks. Now, I think that the Seahawks have the best chance to beat the Panthers, to knock off the Panthers. I mean, I think that the Panthers, you know, of course, they're, in my opinion, they're the team to beat in the playoffs this year, but I think that the Seahawks can be the team to do it. Uh, and then in the AFC, you got the Steelers and the Broncos. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of history there with those two teams in the playoffs. Um, Tim Tebow especially. Uh, and then you got the Chiefs and the Patriots, which I'm kind of not looking forward to because, I mean, the Patriots are just that team, you know. Uh, Truly have had to deal with a lot of injuries this year, but they still got Tom Brady. And as long as they have Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, I'm pretty sure the Patriots are always going to be a team to beat. So, uh, But, you know, the Chiefs, we kind of do have a bit of an advantage on our side against the Patriots. You know, we do have a bit of a better track record against them. Uh, but then again, this this is the playoffs. This, this isn't the regular season. And uh, we're not playing at Arrowhead either. We're playing there at Foxborough. So, you know, you know that crowd is going to be crazy. That crowd is going to be loud. And, um, you know... It's just going to be fun, you know. I'm, I'm really excited, and, uh, you know, if we lose to the Patriots, then, hey, you know. I was just glad we beat the Texans and we were able to win a playoff game finally for the first time in, like, 20 years. You know, that was that was really just pretty much, like, that was, like, the least that I wanted. Like, the very least that I wanted was for us to just win a playoff game just so we end that drought. Uh, do I think we have a chance against the Patriots? Yeah, I, th I think we do, but it's going to be very, very hard. It's going to be a, a hard-fought game. It's definitely not going to be a 30 to nothing blowout. Uh, but I think the Chiefs do have a pretty good chance, and I think that if the Chiefs can beat the Patriots, I don't really think that anyone can beat us. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. I probably am. But I just – the Chiefs are just, you know, I think they're the hottest team in the NFL right now. I mean – 11 straight wins and just the way they've been doing it too, you know. I mean, sure, a few games there at the end, they weren't necessarily pretty, but it's not about style points. It's about points you actually put on the board. Uh, so, if you guys haven't been paying attention, this has been a really close game. We're down under the two-minute warning. I have the ball back down by three. Uh, so, uh, enough talking about the actual NFL. Let's talk about this good game going on between me and Dez. So, uh, after that run didn't go anywhere, second down and eight. Try to go with the screen pass. That didn't go anywhere either. He's been locking up those screens. So, now a big third down and seven right here. This could be an this could be like an early end of the game if we don't get this and we don't get the first. So, But it's automatically fourth down t territory. Uh, with one minute to go, we just give it to the fullback and to pick up the first down to the 33. Still 50 seconds left to go. We got to move quick. We got to find something. We got to make something happen. And look as we find Stephon Diggs. Hits the spin move and breaks the tackle. Stephon Diggs down the sidelines. We're showboating. And we're going to score the touchdown with just 30 seconds to go. How huge is that? How clutch is that? I mean, Dez just... I'm just super clutch against Dez. I don't know what it is. He just cannot stop me uh, in these kind of situations. We've just got 30 seconds left. Uh, he's going to have good field position as my recording kind of glitched out. And uh, he ended up moving his way to the 50-yard line. And right there with just three seconds left, he gets the pass. But we tackle him too quickly. With two seconds left, he has the chance for one play. One play. One shot towards the end zone. And, you know, I, I could have came out and uh, made up three deep, but there's no fun in that. And he actually gets the catch, and Dez wins the game last second. 
throw to the end zone, gets the catch, and uh, wow, man, if you guys were actually watching this game, because I know that, uh, or at least me, when I listen to Madden uh, commentators, I like listen to it in the background while I'm playing to something else, but if you're actually watching this game, holy crap, how awesome of a game was that? Like, that was just an insane game, and I'm telling you, man, me and Dez, we have these games, like, every time we play. It's always like this, and it's just the most fun thing ever. Uh, so if you guys want to see more games between me and him, uh, we'll definitely be sure to do that because it's again it's just it the craziest stuff happens. This stuff always happens when we play. Uh, so it, you know it's always really fun. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, so that's just kind of my recap of the NFC side of the Wild Card Weekend. Again, next weekend I'm going to be having all the stuff on the divisional round of the playoffs. Hopefully my Chiefs can pull off a win. We got a week to prepare for Belichick and the Patriots, and hopefully we can do it. Let me know. Um, how your team performed. If your team was in the playoffs, let me know if your team won. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Fluttershy. As usual, peace out. Have a great day.